Okay, we're doing the integration topic. This is example five, and we're going to have a look at integration by substitution. Um, why don't we look at just a, there's the notes for it. We're going to be in integrating a function which is actually a product of two separate functions, a bit like if we were in a differentiating uh, a product of terms, we could use the product rule. Um, we're going to do something like that for integration. There's going to be two terms which are like a product of each other, which we normally at the moment can't integrate. Um, what we're going to do is to use substitution to make it possible uh, to integrate. And there's a couple of parts, as I call them, part one and part two. There's a kind of easier uh, integration by substitution, which is part one, and a, a slightly more complex one, which I call part two. So this is part one. Hopefully, you'll be able to follow it. Uh, it looks a wee bit uh, complicated, but it's not really. Where the integral is of the form um, g of f of x times f prime x or f dash x with respect to x, really it's a, a formal way of simply saying what you're going to look for in the, uh, the integral is a, a, a function within a function. So you get a composite function multiplied by a term which actually is the derivative of that term there. And it's a bit like in the, when you're using the chain rule to differentiate, you, you multiply by the derivative of that inside term. So we're looking for some evidence of a, a, a second function, which is if it's a polynomial term, it will be a, a power degree one less than the inside function. And I'll, I'll show you best way to show you is by doing it, okay? So here's example five. <clears throat> Find the uh, integral of x multiplied by x squared plus three cubed with respect to x. Now you could, if you had a push, you could evaluate x squared plus three to the power of three and multiply the result by x and to get a polynomial um, a, a set of a, a sum of terms. But we don't want to do that. What we do have, based on the previous slide here, we've got a composite function, x squared plus 3 being the inside function, uh, raised to the power 3. And the other term, the x, the other, pro the, the, the other term in this expression, the x, is a derivative of x squared plus 3. It's the derivative of the inside function. This is going to make it... Uh, relatively straightforward to solve. So what we do is that we're going to effectively substitute the inside term. We're going to let u equal x squared plus 3. So one of the terms will be a composite function and we want that inside function to be u. That means that du by dx, we can differentiate that when we get 2x. In other words, if we multiply both sides by dx, we end up with du equals 2x dx. And what we're going to do with our substitution is we're going to end up rewriting this whole um, integral here in terms of the variable u. Okay? So, what we've really got here so far is we've said that u is x squared plus 3, and that means that if we rewrite this in terms of u, I've got u cubed. Okay, that's just that middle bit there. If I get rid of all of that, what we're really saying is that that part here is this. We've got our cubed part here. Now, what we still have to do in order to keep the in integration consistent, we have to also substitute in something for x dx. Remember, technically, these are all multiplying each other. So we need an expression for x dx. And if you look over here, we've got x dx. We've got 2 times x dx here. So if I half both sides, we end up with a half du equals x dx, which is good because we want an expression for x times dx to replace that in terms of u. So if x dx is the same as a half du, we can basically write it in like that. 
So x dx becomes a half du, and all of a sudden we've got an integration expression or an integral which is exactly the same but we have rewritten it in terms of the variable u which we defined at the beginning as x squared plus 3. That is an integration we can do. We can take out the half and it, u to the 3 with respect to u is u to the 4 divided by 4 plus c and that means that if we multiply the half times u to the 4 over 4, it becomes u to the 4 over 8 plus c. Uh, not quite finished. We have to um, substitute it back in. That's not. We can't leave it in terms of u. Substituting back. Now, ideally, we want to start with uh, the original expression. We've lost the original way up there in the, the mists of all the equal signs. So substituting back, let's start with the original. We can say that the integral of x times x squared plus 3 cubed with respect to x is, well, u was x squared plus 3, so it's an eighth of x squared plus 3 to the power of 4 plus c constant of integration. Now, if you want to really check that that works, I'm not telling you a lie, um, if we want to differentiate this, then we should get the answer we started. What's the derivative of that? Well, it's... We multiply 4 times an 8 to get a half. We write down the inside term. Reduce the power by 1. Multiply by the derivative of the inside term, which is 2x. We cancel out and we get x times x squared plus 3 to the power cubed, which is what we started with. So, that's integration by substitution. Let me just uh, quickly go back over that. We were able to use integration by substitution because the original expression contained a composite function and the term multiplying by that was the derivative or connected to the derivative of the inside term. It wasn't 2x, but it was very similar to that. By letting u equal the inside term, x squared plus 3, we could create an expression for uh, du. And that allowed us to then write the whole integration in terms of the variable u, which gave us a simpler integration um, process, and then we could substitute it back. Okay. Now, the best thing to do is just do a few examples, so have a look at that. Try example 6, you can watch that, I'll put that up in, uh, in the next video, and then hopefully it will become a wee bit more um, instinctive. Okay, so try that, and then try example 6.